And there we have it, 6 a.m. It is time for another day. What is up, YouTube? My name is Mr. Kyle Cohen. Thank you so much for clicking on my YouTube channel and today's video. I thought it would be fun to bring you all along for a typical work day, a typical day in the life of a teacher. I wanted to be sharing what my experiences have been like teaching through this global health crisis that we all are living in. The challenges that we are facing are unlike anything we have ever experienced. So I not only wanna document this time, but have a way of sharing it with each and every one of you. The first thing I do every day after getting ready is make my bed. Just wanna start that day off on the right foot. I then head downstairs, get into the kitchen, and get everything ready for the upcoming day. I do my best to meal prep ahead of time, whether that's the night before, two nights before, sometimes on Sunday. I have an entire video on my channel dedicated to meal prepping, so go ahead, check that one out if you are interested. I then get my coffee going, an essential for all teachers. I've been really into this Starbucks cinnamon coffee situation, and I also have been really into my milk frother. Do y'all have this milk frother? Uh, it's something I found on Amazon because another teacher that I watch or someone on YouTube told me to get it, and I don't really think it does anything, but it's a lot of fun, and it makes your first sip and a half taste kind of special. So I recommend it, I guess, if you... I, I don't know, but I get my coffee ready and then I get my hydro flask with my water prepared. This video is not sponsored by hydro flask. That'd be really cool though if hydro flask sponsored my video. So hydro flask, hit me up. Anyway, get everything prepared, put the mask on, head to my car. Do you all have a mask that you wear specifically from going to and from your car? Because I do. Is that normal? I don't. I don't, it's probably not normal. I don't know. 2020 things, Kyle. I get into the car and I commute to work. The biggest decision that I have on Mondays is which podcast to listen to. I have to decide between the daily, between Brene Brown's brand new podcast, because her old podcast wasn't enough, and then Angela Watson also drops her podcasts on Monday mornings. So Monday is just a really challenging podcast day. What podcasts do you listen to? Leave a comment down below. I'm always looking for new and awesome podcasts, but if you are not listening to Brene Brown, I highly recommend it. I then get into my classroom and start to get everything all organized and situated. Monday mornings are probably one of my favorite times of the week. I have such a positive headspace as I am walking into work. I make sure to leave my room when I leave on Friday ready and organized and prepared for the week ahead. I then just walk around my room and get everything set up. So this looks like turning on my lights, getting my desk organized. You will see that I keep my desk really minimal. There is so much happening throughout the day that in order to stay on top of things, I really try to make sure that my desk and my space is well taken care of. So at the end of the day, I can provide my students with the best education that they deserve. I have posted many videos talking about what my school is currently doing for the upcoming school year. We are in this back and forth hybrid full person model. We started the year off hybrid. We had four weeks of hybrid learning. It was very successful. We then brought students back in person 100% for two weeks. Following that, we had a huge spike in cases in our county. So we went back to one week of hybrid learning where we then recently returned back all students in person this week. We have been doing a lot of back and forth and that is just the nature of the 2020 school year. Flexibility is, is the only option that we have as teachers. You'll see here that I'm now getting a student birthday gift ready. For student birthdays, I give them a cupcake pencil and I write them a little note wishing them a happy birthday. Quick, easy, simple, but special. And then we get going with the day. We had a jam-packed day full of learning. In the morning, we have our big math and reading blocks. Try to get those things done first thing while students are as engaged as possible in the morning. And then it's lunchtime. Lunchtime for me, that is. I, this is my planning period. I eat my lunch right away because for whatever reason, at 1045 in the morning, I am starving. And I don't know, I've always been that way, but I eat my lunch right away. And then I get organized with grading, with lesson planning, really just depends on the day, catching up with emails, all of those things. 
I really try to be as productive as possible during the school day just to minimize the amount of work that I am bringing home and the amount of work that I need to be doing outside of school. This also looks like maintaining a zero level work bin and inbox. So as soon as I'm getting work from students, I try to turn that back as quickly as possible. As soon as I get emails from coworkers, families, community members, etc., trying to turn those back as soon as possible. My goal is to leave school each and every day with nothing left to be graded and nothing left in my inbox. It took me a lot of time to build this routine, but it has transformed my work as a teacher. And then the end of the day is here. My end of school routine is really simple. The bell rings, students are dismissed. I write the next day's homework on the board. I take our house points and tally them up for the day. I have an entire video dedicated to the house system. It was part of my classroom setup series. I will go ahead and link that video. If you do not have a house system or something similar to it in your classroom, I highly recommend checking it out. It has really been awesome, especially during the time that we are living in. After that, I wipe down all of the desks. I have to sanitize everything before our custodial staff comes in and does the same. Again, that added layer of safety given the craziness of this school year. After I sanitize the desks, I go ahead, wash my hands, set the date for the next day, set the schedule cards for the next day. Again, I'm positioning myself for the following day to be as successful as possible. I want to walk in each and every morning with a clean, organized, ready-to-go space, and all of that work happens the day before school. And then it's time to head home. I try to leave as quickly as possible at the end of the day because I get to work early, as I showed you, to get as much work possible done before school starts. And then I have my entire evening to myself. I get home, I do the most annoying thing first, which is empty my lunchbox, do the dishes, clean up around the kitchen a little bit, and then it's time for me. It goes without saying that this school year is unlike anything any of us people or teachers have ever experienced and I have found it more important now than ever before to prioritize myself, my wellness, my physical and mental wellness. And that looks like coming home and taking a cycle class. I have really fallen in love with cycling and moving my body and making sure that I am taking care of myself because we have heard it over and over before, but we cannot fill up a student's cup if our own cup is empty. So I need to fuel my body. I need to get my head in a positive space so that the next day I can show up and deliver what my students deserve. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.